And I live in East Borland and East Burnside Street, close to the Hazelwood Station. Originally, I'm from an African community, and my community, they have a lot of challenge since they are not there. And born to this country, when they first came, they have a lot of challenge like um, transportation because they cannot drive the car. They have to have bar meat to do that, and it's a long way process to learn it. They also have language barrier because when they came to this country, they don't know, they only know their language, their mother tongue, they don't know English. Um, it, they ha it takes time for them to learn the language and to do the enrollment, and they don't know how to do all those process. Like when they first came, and they have to go to IRCO, then maybe IRCO can handle the case for eight months or more than eight months, but you will not learn English like for like two years to come while you have never been to school. So learning English is a challenge to them. Driving skills is also another challenge to them. And being new, new to the country is also another challenge to them because there's a cultural, they have to adapt the culture here and it's hard for them, so they have cultural shock. And most of the people from my community, they cannot read or write, so for the food, they just buy most of them. Those who become the lucky ones can read what is the ingredient of the food, what is it all about, but most of them, they just buy and eat, but without consideration of is it healthy to you or is it something nice for your health. So I think most of them, they don't eat healthy foods. And both the language and area to access because, and we have a small, like not too many um, stores here where we can get our cultural food. So the problem is we don't have enough cultural food where we can have access to because we have to eat the food from this area where we cannot get our own food, which we used to eat back home. It's like a lot of foods that different communities have different names, like the ugali, and the sukuma, all those stuff, the rice, the pasta, with a lot of ingredients we use and stew. And we cannot buy the halal meat from Walmart or the Winko. We have to go a certain store where we can get the right meat which we're supposed to eat. So, and maybe it happened that the store is far away from them and they cannot drive and you know Borland weather or Oregon weather is keep on raining during the winter. And yeah, and also some of them when they are new, they end up not eating food, staying home for a while until they used to, like they have to learn how to take that public transportation. They have to learn how to use to and from, like they fear to get lost because they don't speak the language. So, yeah, the food is also another challenge to them and also the culture. Um, I think the best way is um, to work every community or openly, like if you guys work to make the betterment of the community, I think like you have to work with each community, like my community, if they get someone from the city who want to work with them, they are really open to welcome. So one way is like getting a different type to each other, like learning new skills from them and they can learn something from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working with them is the best way. That's how I think so. And most of them, they have like, the way they were expecting to this country, they don't, come across with because when they were back home, they hope like going to US is the heaven. So when they came here, they don't find what they were dreaming for. So that's another stress to them. The, that's why this nonprofit organization, IRCO, is here to work with the refugees to make them um, get what they want. Like you see a family of five come here and they depend only what they get from like Catholic or Lutheran or the DHS to pay their rent and that's not enough. If they pay the rent, they don't have what to pay their utility. So IRCO, Africa House and AFC is helping them to assist them, rental assistance for those who qualify and also energy assistance 
to those who qualify who are low income who cannot afford to pay it so to make them like to keep their family balance and um, i think storytelling is the best way to preach out like the best way to open doors to other people and um, it's good to share my story to other communities so that they know more about what i am how i'm suffering so if you don't share your story you don't get what you want or you don't get help because if you speak, that's how you get help. In my community, there's a proverb which I can't say the way it is right now, but like if you speak openly, you will get treatment for your problem. But if you, if you stay silent, the problem is only burning you, it's only inside you. So that's what I think is like sharing a story to each other is the best way to open doors to each other. Um, for really, I don't know, I don't have much to say about it, but the real thing I want is my community or any other immigrant community to work with the state or the city so that they can get what they want. And those people who are concerned about helping communities or want to learn more about so that they can make changes my advice is working together makes work easy. Yeah.